I'm having a lot of trouble getting out of the winter blahs this year. Another year, and I'm still here. By all rights, I should be away and in the clear. Away and in the clear. It's all gone wrong. I should be gone. Every year, I go through a period of depression in the winter. It's not so much that I'm sad, but like I just don't have any ambition or energy. I don't really feel like getting out of bed. Now usually though, by say mid-spring, I've gotten out of that, finally got my energy back and I'm able to ready to attack the world again. But this year, not so much. And so I'm trying to think, what is it that is, is weighing on my mind so much, making it so hard for me to pull out of this? I currently work at a job where I work 40 hours a week. And I got promoted a couple years ago. The job itself, it's kind of monotonous, but it's not too bad. It could be worse. I could be doing worse things. The problem is, I haven't had a raise in two years, and yet the prices of groceries has gone up and up and up and up during that time. So I'm at the point now where I'm constantly behind in bills. I've got rent to pay, I got cable, I got this phone to pay for, I got my power, and so it seems like every time I get a paycheck, most of it goes into bills or rent right away. I don't get to see hardly any of it myself. Now, you know, I've tried to fight for a raise at work, and they said, well, I, we can give you extra hours, or we can give you a bonus for this or a bonus for that. No, that's, that doesn't work. If I work more hours, then I don't have any time. I'm already running out of energy doing 40 hours a week as it is. I'm a hard worker, so when I'm there, I do my best job. So I come home pretty tired, and over the weekend, you know, I still need, I need to recharge my batteries from the 40 hours. So working more hours isn't gonna work. But on the other hand, it's a regular paycheck. It's money I can count on. So in that sense, it's a good thing. And I've been at the same company for 16 years. This is good, looks good on, a resume, it would look good on a credit report. Not that my credit is that great right now, but that's a subject for another video maybe. But the fact is, it's still not enough. I'm still behind on bills and I get exhausted. I just, just doing this every week after week after week. So I don't have time to dedicate myself to what I really want to do with my life. And that's tell stories on film, make real movies. And I have an idea for a new filmmaking technique that could revolutionize the way films are made make them cheaper and faster and easier to make. The only thing is, to prove this technique, I have to get my hands on very specific gear, particularly the audio gear. That's really important to making this concept work. It has to be a very specific set of microphones, very specific field recorder, very particular models, as I have studied different models of video equipment and audio equipment and figured out the best microphones and best techniques that will, should make this technique work. So I've been trying to find some way to make this happen. But the gear itself will cost somewhere in the vicinity of, oh, $20,000. That sounds like a lot of money, but the gear with similar capabilities 20 years ago might have cost 250000 So it has come down quite a bit. And I thought when I realized that doing my research, well, you know, maybe I can find a film grant. Maybe I can get something that will give me the $20,000 I need here. But so far, I haven't been very successful because when I tried researching film grants in Canada, all the grants I can find are all designed around developing television series or they're designed around people who are already in the film industries, established film companies. I can't seem to find anything for independent filmmakers doing experimental film, which is what I need. This is an experimental film technique. And what I need is a grant for it. Because if I get an investor, now all of a sudden I've got somebody who wants to have input on how it's done. I have a friend who actually is a, a film producer himself and he's interested in the concept and wants to help me. But the thing is, he's talking about producing the film, which means, again, he's expecting to make a profit back. And, of course, he does have suggestions. He says to me at one point, uh, I think you should use multiple cameras. Now, here's the thing. I understand where he's coming from, and I know why he thinks it should be done that way. I get it. But uh, my, the whole point of this short film is designed to showcase this filmmaking technique. I'm trying to prove that this will work the way I've planned it. I can't prove that if I let people come in and change the concept. And anyone whose money I'm using, they have the right to, to the input because I'm using their money. 
So what I'm looking for is a grant, and there doesn't seem to be anything like that. And obviously, I'm not making even close to enough money, hardly to support myself. I can't, I couldn't even help Marie with groceries this week. You know how terrible that makes me feel? I couldn't do it. I was planning to pay my rent last week, but I found that I couldn't because just the grocery bill alone that I did pay last week, I paid the entire grocery bill last week to make up for the week before when I couldn't. I then didn't have enough money for the rent, so now I'm gonna be short of money when my next pay comes in, I have to pay bills and rent with that. I'm constantly behind the eight ball on money. And, you know, this short film idea I have, I have a script that's designed to showcase this new concept, and it's a great script. I wrote a good script, and then two friends of mine who were both really creative minds came in and had some ideas. One of them I even had rewrite a couple scenes himself. And now we've got a great script, I think. The ending in particular is better than my ending ever was. So I'm really anxious to make this film. But I haven't gotten anywhere on getting it started. I am an artist. I want to contribute something to the world. But I don't want to contribute data entry at an office. I want to contribute art. I want them to touch people on an emotional level. I want to be able to use these talents that so many people have said they've enjoyed my film work and that I have the talent and that I should be able to support myself with it. That's what I want to do. And because I have to work 40 hours a week, I can't, I don't have the energy. There are some of you out there who can do that, have, have actually been able to do that, have a regular job and still been able to do the art that you want to do. I don't know how you do it, but I respect you. And I think it's wonderful that you're able to do that. I haven't been able to. It's I, not because I don't want to, or that I'm not willing to put in the work, but put simply, I don't know how to do it. I need help to make this work. The only thing in my life right now that's going the way it's supposed to go, or the way I'm happy with, is Marie. I want to say here in public and for the record, Marie, I know you're going to be watching this. You're wonderful and you're the one thing that's in my life that at least gives it enough meaning that I don't feel like if I were to die tomorrow that my life was a waste. I'm so glad that you're in it. But Marie, it's the only thing right now in my life that's going the way it's supposed to. Professionally, I'm totally on the wrong track here and I don't know how to get out. I really don't. I'm willing to work. If anyone out there has any suggestions on how I might approach this, how I might get out of this, or wants to come to help, or has some way that they can help, let me know. Because I really, I, I, I'm 44 years old. If I'm going to make this a career, if I want to actually have a filmmaking career, I have got to get started. I just need to know how. I should be gone And all that should be left behind Is song Left behind is song Another year And I'm still here and By all rights I should be away the clear